Hello guys, this is Lithy Art Studio with a video on how to make a chibi mikasa. In this speed drawing tutorial, we will be focusing on my main drawing steps and I will show you how I created my version of Mikasa holding her blades. In the beginning, we decide which body posture our Mikasa will have. This time we choose the one in which she is holding blades in both of her hands and she is ready to attack another titan. We create three circles in a row. One will be her head, one will be her core and one will be her legs. With some basic bones we depict her posture. After having the first basic lines we add some mass along her body to present her whole figure. Her small hands and her cute little legs will need volume to represent her body. With lines close to her chest we make her waist. When we are done with the basic body position, we proceed with clothing. The Savi Corpse and generally any soldier in the Attack on Titan series have a green cape for the cold days. Since Mikasa is in the air moving towards the target, her cape will be airy. Her hair will be messy as well. She is also wearing her typical army leather jacket. It is covering her hands since it has long sleeves and it reaches the middle of her core. It is open to allow easier movements in fights. Of course, as always, Mikasa is wearing her scarf around the neck. It is moving the way air demands and both of its edges are waving. Around her waist, she is wearing a belt. It is connected with metal elements with stripes that come across her sides. Below this belt there is a cloth that covers her hips. Her boots are reaching the knee level. These are the army boots in Attack on Titan. They are similar to the typical army boots, but they lack shoelaces. Let's make her cape with a different state. Think how the air resistance is moving her hair and her scarf and decide how her cape should be. Don't forget her hood. We are adding leather stripes at her legs too, because these belts hold the boxes for the blades. Vertical stripes combined with horizontal ones make it easier for them to stay at the same position. With a ruler, we add the fighting equipment, the swords. Each of them consists of a handle and a blade. The handle attaches to blades that are stored in boxes that soldiers carry with them. Such rectangular boxes are located next to a soldier's legs, one on each side. Use a ruler with this drawing part in order to keep lines straight. The blades are connected with cables to the handle cases that are attached to Mikasa's belt. Now moving on with the face, let's make two round eye bulbs. Of course the eyes of Mikasa will be smaller than that. Her mouth will be open, shouting Eren. With thin stripes we create her teeth. Make her eyebrows thin and linear. Her eyes are semi-closed and even for a chibi Mikasa we will keep them this way. And these are her pupils. So, having completed the first approach of Mikasa, it is now time to make lines sharper and more decisive. For her hair, we make more lines to create depth and realism to her haircut. Some tufts here and there do the job. A super typical Mikasa thing is her tuft in the middle of her face. 
and the sword haircut as well. Make the eyes bolder and the mouth and teeth more precise. For the clothing session, intensify the lines for the hood and the cape. If you are not sure which lines you need, there is an easy thing to do. Start drawing what is certain, and then the crossing lines will not be a mess anymore. We forgot the wings of freedom, so we add the emblem on the jacket sleeve. The scarf of Mikasa needs cut edges. So with the edges of it, we draw small lines to create fries. We draw the fingers of her hand that hold the blades. Its handle has a specific position for two fingers to allow soldiers to hold the swords better. Above that, there is a sword detail like a horn. With a ruler, we draw straight blades. We do the same for the second sword. Divide each blade in sections, since these blades are similar to the ones we used to cut paper. Let's add metal elements on the belt and make handle cases sharper. The hip cloth has foldings. In order to avoid messing up the whole drawing, again we use a ruler. We make the blade cases more detailed. We use it to have straight lines for the boxes and the gas containers. We add straight lines for the metal links too. Make the shape of the boots more precise as well. Now that the whole Mikasa drawing is ready, we can proceed with making the basic lines with ink. Be slow and careful. Be mindful of which lines you actually want to keep. Especially which of the crossing lines you will keep. In case you make any mistake, you can always use an eraser. But ink erasers are doing damage to the paper and it is difficult to keep it in good condition. Another problem you may face is the width of lines. What I mean is that some lines are bolder than others. So you need a wider pen for them. Some others are tiny details that add realism to the drawing. These lines need a smaller pen so that you will not have blurs or stains. Avoid rushing through the ink session, because with this workflow, it is the finalizing step. You can make mistakes during the pencil session, and with a rubber, just erase them fast and easy. But when it comes to ink, the simple rubber is not enough. Ink rubbers are harder and more cruel to the paper. Try not to use them a lot, because they are doing damage easier. And if you want to use, for example, watercolors on your drawing, you may have a problem coloring the areas you erase with an ink eraser. Rulers are useful now as well. Use one to keep straight lines for blades and blade cases.
concentrate on the angles of the boxes and their connecting stripes. This way you will have a box that could actually exist and not something geometrically incorrect. And I made the mistake of crossing lines. Using an eraser will help me. At least this is just a super tiny line. Let's hope it won't do a lot of damage. Continue with Mikasa's hairstyle. Do many tufts. For her cape, add some cloth lines too. And the emblem for the Wings of Freedom. To finish this ink sketch, we proceed with the refinement step. With a pencil eraser, clean, if you want, the lines that make the drawing blurry. And this is my version of Chibi Mikasa. I hope you liked my video and tips. Hit the subscribe button to support my art and leave your comments below. Thank you for drawing with me and I'll see you soon with the next video. Bye guys!